Hi guys, it's Derek Armson at APD Internet Marketing here and I've had a number of requests from people um, to show them how to put uh, privacy policies, um, uh, spam policies and all that sort of thing on, on their WordPress site. So I thought I'd make this quick video to show you how to do that. Now I've got a brand new domain here, there's absolutely nothing on it at the moment, not, not even any content. I'm waiting for the content to be delivered. Um, and the way to do this is go to your plugins uh, and add new and the one I use is WP policies WP policies there you go so search the plugins I'm sure you've seen this bit done a thousand times before it comes up top when you search for that do you want to install yes activate the plugin um, hopefully you know how to do that by now um, and then it comes up in the settings down here WP policies so click on that now this is really really easy to do um, what I do is um, I put a, a, a company name in here now I don't want people to be able to contact me through these um, through these sites so I just do that and I just use one of my generic email addresses there I update those options and then the thing to do is import all the files so they're all important so you can see all the files there anything you can possibly want so anti-spam disclaimer even the DMCA uh, notice there uh, privacy policy terms of use so that's fantastic so what we do next is we go to um, where do we go um, appearance there we are menus and we set up a new menu I always use important stuff so just name the menu whatever you want um, you can use that when we come to put the menu up if you want or, or, or not and then create menu that's the important part create menu and then if you come down here you'll notice all the pages that you've created through WPC policy WP policies are here so I want um, don't want testimonials on this one I want terms of use I want privacy policy I want email policy DMCA disclaimer and anti-spam click here add to menu and then remember to save the menu that's important you must save the menu then all you do is go to widgets um, take all this stuff off I don't want that don't want that don't want that don't want that what would normally happen is I'd use um, core tweaks to get rid of all that stuff in the first place um, but because I haven't used core tweaks it's, it's still there um, and what I do is I use Core Tweaks when I first set up a blog, and it's a way of configuring all the um, all the the basic stuff in the blog, like getting rid of the blog role and and designating what you want your custom menus to be called and what have you. Um, but you'll see here the custom menu widget. Drag that over to the main sidebar. Just click Save, and that, my friends, is that done. So I'll click that to open a new link, so we can see the site. So we'll click on that and you can see it's a brand new installation and there you go, there's your menu on the side there with all your privacy policies in it. So I hope that was helpful to you and um, I'll see you again very soon with a new video. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.